So the material that he used to building it was no cement, limestone, mud and water. Okay. So when he was started to building his house, he decided to took the slave alive and buried them every each corners. Buried the people alive every each corners because he was believed the devils. He gave the devils gift. It's like from Kilimanjaro mountain. Wow. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 kilometers. Pangani River started from Kilimanjaro mountain. From Kilimanjaro mountain to the Indian Ocean is 400 Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Kef halekum. Kwema. Jina langu wemba imani. Leo mimi nipo imji wa Pangani. Pangani ni mji mdogu karibu na jiji la Tanga. Pangani ni mji muhimu sana katika historia ya Tanzania. Subiri kidogo, utafurahi sana kujifunza wa kuhusu mji wa kale wa Pangani. Taal, taal, tuendeni kujifunza mji wa Pangani. Karibuni Tanzania, karibuni Afrika ya Mashariki. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I am in the town of Pangani which is very close, around 45 kilometers from Tanga City. You will have an amazing documentary today as we tour and explore this historic Swahili town here in Tanzania. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says Yeah, subscribe. so you are telling me, could you just tell me a yeah, little yeah. bit so about the police? Yeah, so this is the police quarters. It was building by British, British. 1922. Okay. So it's still using as a police quarters until now. Wow. So the police officers, they live inside there okay so yeah. you're telling me the british built this yes in 1922 yes and it's still being used today as a police yeah, quarters yeah, wow yeah. and in front there police station okay So let's stand up here. I want to tell you about this building. Yeah, sure. So this building you see, it was built by the one who was building the first mosque. Okay. Salimwe Black. So he was building it at his home place. Oh, okay. His house. Okay. So it was building 1810. So the material he used, he used it to building his house, it was no cement, limestone, mud, and water. You have a, yeah, that's good. Okay, so the material that he used to building it was no cement, limestone, mud, and water. Okay. So when he was started to building his house, he decided to took the slave alive and buried them every each corners. Buried the people alive every each corners because he was believed the devils. He gave the devils gift. It's like someone who went to building the house, he take the goat and slaughter, or for his uh, local, uh, I mean local religions. Okay. Yeah, he so, did that for his purpose. Okay, brother, let me just yeah. reconfirm yeah. there with you. So you're saying yeah. he buried yes. them alive yes. in each corner each of corner. this building here? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes, because for his purpose, for yes. his belief. His beliefs, yeah? Yeah. Like so, a sacrifice. Sacrifice, yes. After that, he continued to building his house. You see? He continued to building his house until he finished. Okay. And then he stayed many, many years. Until when he, German came. When German came, when German took over our administration of the area, they changed this building to become district office. Okay. And then they're building the top roof. You see the top roof? Yeah. That's the German. Okay. And you see those space. Those space, space for the German soldier to put gun out to protect the area. Okay. You see? Like White House. Right. So after that, when the British came, they didn't change anything. 
it was stay as district office, but they call it Boma. Boma, do you know the meaning of the Boma? Boma has two meanings. When you go to Maasai, it means the place which they stay with the cow, it's like a fence, with the, they're living with the cow. And another meaning, difference, for British, it means B for British, O for overseas, A for management, A for administration. Okay. British, overseas, management, administration. administration. Okay. That's the meaning of British, Boma. Boma. Yes, okay. so after that, when we got independence, also we didn't change anything. It was stayed as, as district office until three, four years ago, building our new district, district office, three kilometers from here. Okay. So now this is still using as a, a education office, still as under the government until now. So people still work here? Uh, there is uh, very few. And oh. on the, they, they put it like store now. Okay. Yeah, keeping some records. Okay. Yeah, when there is a ex examining examination, they put their examination there, and the watchmen take care of it. Yeah. Very interesting. Like, do local people believe that this building is haunted? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. There is people who can make a research. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you find the Pangani bomber, they can tell you. Okay. When you're in the Google. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Assalamu alaikum. Madam, Dr. Luis Kidogo, my chef. Hey, well. So the guy, he was a businessman, with the owner of this building. Yeah. So he showed what kind, how rich he was on that time. So he was the villa. That's why you see the chain. Okay. You see? So that's a symbol of the yes, slave, the slave, slave dealer, yes, the chains. Yes. Okay. And uh, he was selling a uh, perfume. Perfume. Okay. Yeah. So that's why you see there's flowers. All right. Yeah. And also he was selling elephant trucks. Yes. El uh, and I mean the word animal skins, yeah. like cheetah, whatever. So that's the sign. And also he was selling uh, ananas. Pineapple. Pineapple, yes. Yeah, that's why you see there's uh, pineapple stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, he was, uh, there was no electricity, so they used kind of to make it light. Okay. Yeah. And he written something. He was believed the God. Yes. Yeah. But although he did bad things to the people, but he still. That's he, Allah, Allah, Allah. Yeah. Allah. On the door frame. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. And here, it's, it's relaxing. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And chill like this. Okay. Waiting for the next plaza. Yeah. Yeah, it's sitting like that. Just waiting, you know, after maybe waiting some people, you can just sit in here. Or you can sit over there. Yeah, so all them sit. So was this built by him or by yes. the British? Uh, this, uh, this, this, this style. This is style was him because he was a chief. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was a chief. And, and could people you... People come and... Uh, see him. See him. And uh, on that time also, people killing him. They yeah. carried him? They carried him. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, was he born in Pangani? No, he's just... He just... Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah, but he, I think if it's not him, it's relative. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what, what was his name? Salimu a black. Salimu. Salimu a black. A black. A black. This means a chain. Oh. Chain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And was he? You know why he called chain? He's stronger. No one can can uh, take him down. Okay. You know he's rich. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's like he. Yeah, it's like this chain. You can't come by. Maybe if you come by something strong, but by. By knife, you can cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why he called Salim a black. Okay. Strong. Was he related to Abu Shiri? Uh, Abu Shiri, yeah, uh, the, uh, yeah, the family. The family. Yeah, family yeah, right. Family, yeah. Okay. Family. Yeah. And like this guy, um, a black, would he have been a dark skinned Arab or? Uh, he, uh, Abu Shiri was dark skinned. Okay, Abu Shiri. Yeah, but this one, I'm not really sure, but Abu Shiri was dark. Okay. Yeah, dark. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry. Brother. Hi.
Okay. So here is a speech corner. Speech corner. Leaders come here and make speech to the people, and the people they listen to him or her. Okay. In here, and that he was a German district commissioner house. Okay. The British he was over there, like I told you. Oh yeah. But German they like here near to the place. Yeah. Work. British they like there because for view and security. Okay. Yeah. This tree is our Christmas tree. What's called? Our Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Okay. I know it's different from your country. Yes. Yeah. So this is our Christmas tree, making flower before two months before Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When you ask someone to take me to the Christmas tree, they can bring you. They'll bring you here. Okay. So people use the flowers as decorations? Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah. And this is the house of the Germans? Yes. Okay. The German district commissioner. District commissioner. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is, is, is anyone living here now? Yes, there's a government, the guy who from working from the government. Okay. Yeah. Under the district commissioner. Okay. Like he, what? Under like he, four or five persons. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like that. A lot of history here in Pangani. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stay here? Yes. Are you going to stay here? Okay, so let's stand up here. Mm. So this building you see, it was built by British as Pangani District Hospital. Okay. It was building 1924. 1924, okay. And that it was built the same time, but that is a prison. It is still prison until now, the white one. Really? So it was prison and the district hospital. Wow, okay, yeah. right next to each other. Yeah, next to, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that is still prison. And when we got independence, this, we, sh we moved. We're building the new district hospital just behind of this building. Okay. So this now is not working. It's just before it was land office. Land office. Now, because the district office moved, so now nobody. No one's there. Yeah, okay. yeah. But that is still prison. And you see those sites of plantation? Yes. Those sites are special for guiding, for, you know, punishment. If prisoner want to run away from the window, yes. he can get punishment okay. before running away because the sites is a shop. Right. Yeah. And the sites originally, they brought from uh, uh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the people who brought them, they are German. Okay. So the first sites of plantation in Tanzania was planted in Pangani. And then now, all religions were for this size of plantation. Okay, well that's very interesting. So yeah. you're saying the first size of plantation was Pangani? Pangani. Wow. In Tanzania. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. In okay, so there is an offer. If we are not tired, there is a coconut camp. Okay. That is not historical. Okay. If you are okay, I can offer you maybe for more yeah. data, for more, you know, uh, nature stuff we have here. Okay. If you like, if you are okay, we can, because you will mind one place to finish. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, I don't we mind. We don't finish or we want to see, it's up to you. I don't mind. We can see. We, we go. Yeah. You know, right now we can hear sound of us. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what sound? Is that a certain bird? Or? No, no, it's us. They're small like this. All right. They're very strong voice. Very strong. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No matter hiding, it's fine like this. Okay. Yeah. Do they like light up at night? Ah, uh, no, no, it's not. It's not those. Okay. Yeah.
So this is the garden of first level prison. Okay. The garden is over there. Okay. Yeah. If you say slave prison. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the garden. The for garden. The slave. Okay. Yeah. The place which they walk. Right. Yeah. Okay, so here you see the coconut camp. Coconut camp. Yeah, it's all this coconut camp with a lot of coconut up the river. Okay. Yeah. Kaga Vivi. So we pay coconut here and then we send them send them to the big city. To the big city, okay. Yeah. So this is where people come just to peel the coconut. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I send them to the big seats for big selling. Seat. Yeah. Some to here in Pangan. Okay. Yeah. A lot of coconut up the river. Okay. Yeah. So like a lot of coconut trees up the river? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And like is it grown by uh Arab. Arabs? Arabs, yes. They're Arabs. the ones still owning the coconut. Yeah, yeah, the, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah, now you know the Arabs they are more mixed, mixed. Yeah. Arab, I mean Arab and Tanzanian. And Tanzanian. Yeah, mix. Yeah, it's mixed. Okay. 
And what's the like uh, relationship between the locals and the Arab mixed people these days? Uh, these days, oh, you know, these days now it's okay, but before it was horrible. It was horrible. Yeah, it was horrible, but now it's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Are there crocodiles in this river? Uh, up the river there. Yeah. Up but, the river? Yeah, up the river. But because you know this river is mixed with the salt water. So, okay. Yeah, so the crocodile they doesn't like because their eyes, you know. It's... Oh, they don't like salt water? Salt water, yeah, they don't like okay. salt water, yeah. So that's why they So is, yeah. it, is it safe to swim in this? Yeah, it's safe to swim in. Okay. Yeah, it's safe. But over there it's... Dangerous. Not, yeah, because <laughs> the, the salt is not strong. Yeah. So this boat you see, they came from, they, they bring, they are called cargo boat. Cargo boat. Carrying coconut. Okay. Yeah, carrying coconut. Okay. Yeah. And what is the name in Swahili? This we call, we, we call Dao also. Dao. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we call boat. The small, small is boat. Mm -hmm. The big one is Dao. Dao. Yeah, this is boat. And the traditional one, yeah. J yeah. Jahazi. Jahazi, yes. Okay. Jahazi. Yes. Okay. Jahazi. So how long have you lived in this area? 23 years. 23 years. Wow. And do you enjoy living here? Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's quiet, it's peaceful and you know. Yeah. yeah. So this was building by British, all this area. Okay. For the government quarters. Okay. Yeah. The people work in the government. And the work government. Yeah. And, and usually at that time it was mainly just British people that were living here. And uh, the uh, mix. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they are mix. So did they employ locals? They employ locals also. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But the people who under, they yes. are bossy, the big people, no. Okay. They are not British. Okay. No, yeah. They took the. You know, others they are helping them. You're helping yeah, them, yeah, helping yeah. Them, yeah. But the the, the bosses the were boss, British. Yeah, the British. Okay. Yes.
So these buildings today, they are what are they used for? Are they homes yeah, or the homes? Homes now. Before even the, before it was homes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So all the Br the British left after independence. Yes, all left. Wow. All left. Like Germany. Like Germany as well. Yeah. So the, the the British didn't intermarry with the locals as well. No. Okay. No. Very few, but there is uh, one in uh, Germany. Yeah. He was district commissioner. Okay. He was married in Maasai. Oh, he married in Maasai? Yes. When he, when he, uh, he was left, he was left with her. Okay. Yeah. So his uh, grand, grandson. Yeah. Came here. Okay. And they did get him with him. Okay, okay. Yeah. You met him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting with him like he, five, six years ago. Okay. Yeah. Does he does he speak Swahili? No. Okay. Only because he also he's mixed from from, from Germany to Maasai, Maasai to Indian. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's grand yeah. 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 So it's a mom from his I mean yeah, so it's mixing. Mixed, yeah. yeah. So this is his uh Bangani district coat. Coat, okay. Yeah. And this is a local post office? Yeah, this is a post office, yeah. Okay. Pangani post office. Pangani post office. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was not using the pearl like this, they used boat. Okay. Pearl boat. Yeah. And then later time they used the engine boat. And then also the boat for the ferry, there is one, they save boat this side and this side, they pull, they push the boat. Okay. So they can there and then they push the okay. boat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what's the price to um, get on this boat? To uh, go for person is two, 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 200. 200 Tanzanian One, shillings. Yeah, Tanga, Tanzania shilling two cross. Yeah. And come back is the same. It's the same. The car is different for having. The small, small one, 4,000. Okay. Yeah, the small, like two. Uh, yeah, the small one. Okay. Yeah. And you see on this side, are they like guest houses and hotels? No, uh, they are, but it's not here. 16 kilometers 
four kilometers, there's hotels, there's, uh, yeah, there's hotels, but not here. Not here? Yeah. And is it at a reasonable price? Like, how, how much in Tanzanian shillings uh, per night? Per night, uh, na normally 40,000, 40, 40 shillings. Okay. Yeah, and 50 shillings. Okay. And there's another, I'm not sure if there's... 40,000? Uh, 40, yes, 40,000. 40,000. 50,000, 20, 100, oh, 200. Are there some for like 10,000 Tanzanian mm, no. shillings? No, it's not like here. Yeah, There's because no. the, this side in the Sokoni. You yeah, Sokoni, you get 10,000. Yeah, even 7,000 you can get. Yeah. But there is uh, one village here, in the, I mean, uh, just in the small, small village you can get for. I think 10,000, uh, 10, 7,000. Oh, in the village? Yeah, yeah. not here. Okay. Further. Close, yeah. Oh. It's like uh, six, six kilometers. Kilometers, yeah. yeah. This. Okay, so this place was a very important place okay. for changing our administration. Okay. When the German came, they decided to build in this place to show that this land is under the German. Okay. And they written here, Kaiser Wilhelm II, he was a king of German. Okay. It was 1889. Right. So after that, when the British came, they didn't like to destroy all this stuff. They just ch take off the German written. They change the written. The, they, yeah. put, they put they put their written. King George V, July 23rd, 1916. Right. So it's a changing place for our administration. Administration. Yes. And when we got independence, we didn't like to change. We just remind as historical stuff for German and British. Okay. So us removed. Over there. Okay. Yeah. So here, maybe you can come this way. Okay. So this place is well, just for Tanzania, just for memory. For memory, yeah. Yeah. So we just, when you go to Independence Building, they to show, you know, our memory. Okay. And this is we return here, Kumbu Kumbu, Yamiata Kumi Ahul. It means. Memo of 10 years of independence. Okay. From 1961 to 1971. And this is our Tanzania flag. Yes, flag. Flag for African. This for menos. <coughs> for those green there for nature. Yeah. And this for ocean. At the ocean. Yeah, and over there is a independence torch. Independence torch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks for listening to me. We've yes. already finished yes. the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Any fi any final words you want to say to people why they should visit Pangani? Yeah. I, I can say that it's good to visit Pangani. Pangani is nature place. And they also, you know, we have a lot of beaches, we have quiet place, peaceful, no any problems. So anybody can welcome Pangani. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving me a tour of this beautiful place of Pangani. You're welcome. All right. So guys, you saw it. We did a full tour here of Pangani and definitely wherever you are, you should come and visit Pangani and check out the place. Karibuni Tanzania, Karibuni Pangani.